Today we're talking about your personal item bag. Not your big 40 liter backpack, not your carry on roller, and definitely not your big checked bag. Although sometimes I put my personal item bag in one of those and take it out when I get on the plane. Your bag should fit comfortably under the seat in front of you. Try to organize as much as possible and don't overpack it so you can find things when you need them. It helps if the lining in your bag is a lighter color. It will be easier to find things, especially when they dim the lights on the plane. And just as a reference, this is how three major US carriers define a personal item. Each carrier is gonna be slightly different in their definition of personal item. And if you're not sure, always just check online or give them a call. Here's a list of a few free items that they usually let you bring on a plane in addition to your personal item. But if you have any questions, contact your carrier just to confirm. Number 15, toothbrush and toothpaste. Believe it or not, one of the most forgotten items among travelers. It's always a good idea to pack a travel toothbrush and toothpaste with you to freshen up in between meals on the plane or at the airport. And I'm sure your traveling companions will appreciate your clean, minty breath. Number 14, deodorant. Just pack a travel sized deodorant in your personal bag. Sometimes when you're traveling, you're running around, you're sweating, it gets hot on the plane. And nobody wants to be sweaty or smelly sitting many hours on a plane. And the people around you will also appreciate that you pack the deodorant. Number 13, tech gear. Try to keep your tech gear as organized as possible. I put it in a tech pouch. Some people like to keep it in a bag or a dedicated pocket in their backpack. If they're just sitting loose in your bag, it's very difficult to find things, especially when they turn the lights down. I've experienced that before, and it's not fun searching for a cable that you know is there, but you just can't find it. Here's a short list of tech essentials, but stay tuned to our channel. We're gonna do a more in-depth video on essential tech items for wherever and however you travel. Number 12, change of clothes and layers, layers, layers. layers. It's a good idea to wear layers on the flight, just in case it gets hot or cold, you're covered either way. And in a pinch, you can use that sweater or jacket as a pillow or a blanket. And don't forget to bring a change of clothes just in case your checked bag gets lost. That way you'll have a wardrobe change until they find your lost luggage. Number 11, the travel pillow. People seem to either love travel pillows or hate them. I'm kind of split down the middle on this one. Personally, I only bring a travel pillow if I'm flying economy, which I usually do. My flight is over seven hours, or I plan on getting some sleep. I have two types of travel pillows. I have the memory foam and the inflatable pillow. The memory foam is definitely more comfortable, but the inflatable takes up less room in my bag. It's comfortable also, so it depends what's more important to you. Three ways to carry your travel pillow. Inside your bag, compressed. Hanging on the back of your bag with a carabiner or around your neck. Personally, I've never been able to pull off the around the neck look, but for some people, it seems to work. Number 10, sleep eye mask. Many people don't like to use them, some people swear by them. But basically, if you're trying to get some sleep on a flight and block out everything around you, these really do help. And invest in a good one. They don't really cost much, and a quality mask makes a big difference. Number nine. Sanitizer and wipes. Even though planes are deep clean these days, you should probably use antibacterial wipes and or sanitizer to ensure that you're clean, safe, and germ-free. Here's a list of some of the dirtiest places on a plane. So remember the next time you touch one of these and put your hands on your face or in your mouth, you're better off using sanitizer or washing your hands just to be safe. Number eight, snacks on a plane. TSA lets you bring a lot of different types of food on a plane, as long as it's not considered a liquid. And if it is, it's under 3.4 ounces. Here are some of my favorite snacks that I like to bring when traveling. And please, try not to bring any food that smells or makes a big mess. Be considerate to your fellow travelers. Number nine. 
Number 7. Your travel size tissues. Okay, they might not be the most glamorous item on the list, but they have a lot of uses. They're small, they're lightweight, they don't take up much space, and I'm pretty sure you'll be glad you brought them. Number 6. This is kind of a combo here, but they all tie together. Moisturizer, lip balm, and essential makeup. Humidity on a typical plane is below 20%, and on newer planes, a little bit higher. And considering that the humidity in your house is between 30 and 60%, it's a good idea to keep moisturized. And after a long, dry flight, you'll be thankful that you brought these essentials. Number 5. A pen. Not every country has fully engulfed the digital age yet, so carrying a pen is a good idea. You might need to fill out forms when you're leaving, on the plane, or even at your destination. You don't want to have to borrow a pen from somebody on the plane, and good luck finding a pen that works at the airport. Bring your own, you'll be better off. Number four, book, tablet, or e-reader. Usually when you are traveling, whether it be by plane, train, bus, you are engaged in one or a combination of the following. Eating, sleeping, watching a movie or a very good travel video on YouTube, working, or reading. And if this is one of the ways you want to pass your time while traveling, don't forget one of these and their charger if needed. And always check your seat back pocket so you don't forget anything. Number three, medication. Always put your medication in your personal item or carry-on bag. You don't want to take a chance if it gets lost with your checked bag. And don't forget to bring your over-the-counter medication if you need it. I did have somewhat of a funny situation in Japan where the pharmacist did not speak English and I couldn't read any of the labels in Japanese. But after about 15 minutes of a funny and somewhat awkward conversation, we figured it out. And try to bring extra medication just in case and always consult your physician before taking any medication. Number two, a water bottle. In an average 10 hour flight, a man can lose about two liters of water and a woman around 1.6. And as we mentioned earlier, the humidity on a plane is very low, so you need to drink more water than normal to stay hydrated. And by bringing your own water, you don't have to wait for the flight attendant to make their rounds, and you're saving plastic, so you're eco-friendly as well. Number one, wallet, ID, and travel documents. If you don't keep your passport and ID in your pockets, make sure you put them in your personal item bag close to you where you can see them. Never put anything important in the seat back pocket. You have a good chance you might forget them. Make two copies of important documents and keep them in separate places. One in your personal item bag, one in your checked bag. Or if you make a digital copy, make sure it's somewhere you can easily access them remotely while traveling. For more insights, tips, and info into all your travel moves, Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel.